Christmas, it's here, almost. Well, nearly almost, not quite. It's time for Christmas shopping, but I've already done mine because we're talking about Christmas for the second week in a row, and you can't do Christmas without presents. We are chill, and this is how we roll. Right, so if you've been watching our videos, you're gonna know that I've been promising for about a month now that everybody is gonna get bought a Christmas present. And so that's what I did. Um, over the break, I bought everybody a Christmas present and I spent um, about a day wrapping them all. You can, you can see them here. Um, now this is as many as we need for how many people we signed up. But if you look over there, we've got a few spurs as well. Um, because we know that some people are gonna turn up who weren't here on that week. But still, these are our presents and we're gonna give them all away tonight, kind of. Let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, so Jamie's on the camera, so he's going to try and keep up with me. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Sure keep up, keep up. Uh, Jonathan! <laughs> well, okay. Right, okay, so this is the rest of the club, in case you've not seen it, by the way. This is the cafe, and we're going into the hall. This is Anthony. He's, he's one of our DJs tonight. Hello. Give us a what? <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Um, as you can tell, DJ's a, the DJ's a pirate in his spare time. Yeah. Right, okay. So, <laughs> The, 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 the game tonight, okay, the, the night is um, Rumble All The Way. If you sin the movie uh, Jingle All The Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger, you should have a rough idea of what's going to go on here tonight. It's all about getting presents. Not having presents, but getting presents, okay? <laughs> We're going to talk about how aggressive people get at Christmas. And if you're getting aggressive at Christmas, you think maybe you're missing the point a little bit. So we're going to get aggressive tonight with Santa Clauses. We're going to have four Santa Clauses. Let me show you through here. Come on, Jamie, come on, come on, keep up, keep up. All right, okay. Uh, this is the room. We've used this a few times before, so you've seen this, okay? Here we have four Santa suits, and we're going to have four people wearing them, and people are going to have to battle their Santas in order to get their presents. So let me just show you what they're going to do. Uh, for this night to work, you need four Santa suits, obviously. They were four or five pounds each from eBay. So it was like 25 quid, including uh, shipping. Uh, that was for all of them on eBay. Um, we have got two shopping trolleys. Now, the first game uh, is gonna involve um, a Santa on one of these and a contestant on one of these, and they're gonna have to run all around the room collecting Christmas presents. It's gonna be a race. Two of them at the same time for every present. Um, so that's the first one. The second game, uh, we're actually playing past the parcel except we're doing competitive past the parcel. So all the contestants, basically all the kids in the room, are gonna play past the parcel, but instead of it being in a, in a circle so that it's nice and orderly, you can just chuck it to anyone you want. Rules are the same when the music stops, if you're holding it, you take off the wrapping. However, you're gonna be up against all four Santas, and they're trying to intercept the presents, and if they can get it, they're gonna play, play keep away. So it's gonna be competitive, round the room, turbocharged, manic, past the parcel. If one of the Santas is holding it when the music stops for the final layer, they get the present and nobody else does. Uh -huh. And whoever wins the trolley game is gonna get a present. And we're actually gonna give them a present and they can open it tonight. Then we're gonna have a treasure hunt. All those presents you saw out there, we're gonna hide them around the ground floor and then everybody's gonna go and find the present with the number on it. And everybody that registered a few weeks ago when I told them to, their name is down and there's a number. So they get given the number, they have to go and find the, the present. And then they're gonna come and put it here under the Christmas tree. And that's when we're gonna start the setup for next week because a video is going to play on the screen and when it does, everybody's going to watch it. The video is of the Grinch. However, while they're watching it, the Grinch is going to come in and steal all their Christmas presents, which means next week, if they want their presents back, they've got to attack the Grinch, which is, yes, I know that's, yeah. So this, this is amusing our camera lady, obviously. Um, so uh, that's, that's next week's game. I'm not gonna get into that too much. Um, if you saw my last video, you'll know that I said I was gonna take the tree down, but actually I thought it was quite useful as a place to put the presents once we've, we've got them. So the tree is gonna die next week, I'm afraid. It's got one more week of life in it. Um, okay, and for, uh, for this game, you need these two trolleys very easy to get. I do recommend asking a supermarket before taking the trolleys. If you explain what it's for and you'll bring them back in the same day and if, if anything gets broke you'll repair it. Um, hopefully if you've got a good relationship with them they won't mind so much. The other thing um, that I've got is basically a bunch of junk. 
Um, we've, we've got bottles and things like this. This is for the supermarket sweep that we're playing. Uh, these are just random items. Um, we did a game ages ago that ended up with a baby being given out, a, a baby doll thing on, um, on Love Stink Week. This is the box that that baby doll came in. I kept the box and I've just wrapped it. So it's just an empty box and we're using it for tonight. Um, we've got a few others. We've got some small cereal boxes there and a box of roses and things. These are just average things. It doesn't really matter what they are. If I can throw it in the air and someone in a trolley has got to race someone else in a trolley to get it, it's good. So the cost of all of these things is pretty much zero. The two prizes, I got these from a shop called B&M. Um, if you know what that is, then you know that these are cheap presents. These are like two or three pounds each. Um, and then there's the Santa suits, which are about 20 quid. And that's it. Um, the presents that we're opening, the big load of presents, I bought them personally out of my own money. As I explained to the youth at the time, if we bought them out of the club's money, that's their money. And so I'm not buying them a present, I'm just spending their money in a different way. So I decided to get these out of my own money. Now then, those presents are gonna feature this week, next week, and in about three weeks, okay? So these presents are gonna be a real big feature of everything we do in Chill up until Christmas. And in the final week, the Stardust week, you're gonna see what that's all about. It's a, it's a conclusion we've been building up to since day one of coming back from Chill. So that's it, that's what we're doing. Um, you know what we're doing, we know how we're doing it, so now we're gonna to go to the games. Remember the, the rule, there's no comments below, I disable it, if you wanna talk about this video or anything else, go to www.wearechill.com. You can get my book, you can get resources, get on uh, discussions about this, that, and the other. I wanna help you to run a youth club that's great, and I think I can help you to do that. So get in touch, I'll give you all the help I can, okay? So it's www.wearechill, Dot com. And without any further ado, we're going to go to the game, okay? Here we go. We are chill and this is how we roll. Three, two, one! I mean, can you imagine the idea of Santa in boxing gloves? I mean, think about it, right? If he wants a fight, it's probably not Father Christmas you're talking to. Do you know what I mean? Because if you think about it, fighting and the whole idea of Christmas, they just don't go together. And yet, the amount of fighting your parents will do just to find the car park space to buy your presents, do you know what I mean? And that movie, it's all based about people who, they need to get that present, they need to get it quick, there's not that many left, so they're just gonna elbow everybody out the way to get a Christmas present. And you think, if you had to do that, you've kind of missed the point of Christmas. You've kind of missed the point of what it's all about. I mean, if, if you need to stand on the heads of five people to be kind to another person, shh, 
you're not really getting it. Do you know what I mean? And I think part of the problem is we really value gifts the wrong way. And the thing is, these gifts, they don't cost an awful lot of money each when you buy 70 of them, it adds up. But, but, it's nothing to do with the money. And yet, that's what we tend to think about Christmas, right? Let's face it, if your parents only spent half of what you were expecting on you for Christmas, you'd be a bit disappointed. Yeah. And it's as if we're saying, if you love me this much, it's going, if you love me this much, you'll spend this much on me, you know? It's a, it's a kind of a warped way we've got it looking at it. I want to just get you to look at shh, a Christmas gift a little bit differently. Just watch this movie. My name is Nina Ashley. I'm two years old and I go to Randolph Elementary School. My dad, Master Sergeant Joe Myers, is in Iraq right now. Sometimes you think, I have to buy that person a present because, 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 because. What you buy them isn't nearly as important as who you are to them. Never value yourself by what you can give someone. Love doesn't need wrapping. You, the value of you, it's so great because you can never, ever run out of you. So you can give someone the best of yourself and you've still got just as much of yourself left. Also, you never need to be returned as well. You never need to worry about becoming the right size or if you're the right fashion. You guys, yourself, you are the greatest gift you can give to anybody. You're worth far more than any gift you could ever give. That's what I wanted to tell you tonight, and I want you to remember that as well. Relationships in your life are so much more important than any, anything that comes in rapid paper. Value yourselves. Christmas teaches us anything is this. Who you are is far more valuable than what you give. Just remember that. That's pretty much it for me. I'm done. I'm making it short tonight. But this whole Christmas season is stop it, stop it, stop it. There is time. One teeny tiny Christmas tradition. I find quite meaningful. Oh no! The 
presents have been stolen. Uh, I guess those no, Santa went trying to find them and bring them back. It was the Grinch. So next week, next week, we attack the Grinch. Uh, yeah. That's what we're doing. Next week, we're going to get all Takeshi's on this. You're going to have to win your presents back, but it's battle time. Well, then you're going to have to fight for it. Next week, we're getting your presents back. Hey, what? No, no, it's next Friday. We're doing it next Friday. Okay. okay. So that's it. That's next Friday. We're going to get your presents back. I guarantee you will. That's how it's going to work. Right, okay. That's it for now. Um, we've got the foam rave back in the attempt We have got loop bands out the front. We have got proper retro games. We've got PS1 games in the cafe. We've got proper old school. And in here when we're finished, football time. Yeah, that's about it for now, guys. You ain't got to go home, but you've got to get out of here. Have fun. Yeah.